This is one of three 3D printed instrument designs which I have produced in collaboration on a project with the Center for Research Collections here at the University of Edinburgh. It is a penny whistle. Uh, the original, which it is based off of, or loosely based off of, is pictured right here. It dates from the late 19th to early 20th centuries from the UK. So I was basing my design off of measurements, uh, which are recorded in the notes on the online database, which is publicly accessible, as well as the image of the instrument to try and visually match some of the features. The most essential measurement for the instrument is the sounding length which is recorded for the original. That also correlates to the pitch, which is also recorded for the original, uh, which the model seems to match. The original would have been nominally a whistle in D. However, with the sounding length and the pitch that it produces, we would actually nowadays probably identify it more as a whistle in E flat. As little as maybe 100, 150 years ago, at least in, in instruments like this, um, pitch standard was not the same necessarily as it would be today. You'll hear that when I play some of it for you and I'll go ahead and play a few uh, little passages here for you now. There's quite a few measurements which aren't recorded. The diameter of the bore, the diameter of the holes, the position of the holes, I ended up stealing measurements from my E-flat generation. Uh, it raises some really interesting questions about this process of modeling historical instruments. Why doesn't it start with going to see the original instrument? Getting an original instrument out and visiting it and making measurements of it takes time and resources. It involves taking the instrument out of storage, out of a state of preservation. The general rule of thumb tends to be do as much as you can without getting the thing out of storage. The benefit was actually discovering the gaps and having a model like this means that you could then approach a collection and you could say, hey look, I've got this model, but these are all the things that I don't know that I would need to collect, which make it not quite perfect as a historical um, copy. So I need to see the original instrument and make these precise measurements in order to refine this model. But you can see the prototype is here. That's why the, those measurements will be worth it. It's some interesting observations that to me were raised with this particular instrument. It helped me reflect on that whole process. And I hope, uh, hope that was an interesting reflection for you as well.